Welcome back, I am some guy you've never heard of, and this is Europa Universalis 3, aka My Comfort Game. I'm still recording today when I'm not feeling too well. Um, fortunately the sore throat is mostly gone, I mean it pretty much was before I started recording, but I don't know if you can tell, but I am a little stuffed up, but regardless, this is still better rest than uh, being on my feet all day. Um. And not as bad for my back as staying in bed watching anime. So, um, last we left off, we had gone to war with Aragorn to protect the independence of Sardinia, our ally, who we recently liberated from Savoy. Oh. Wait, Aragorn holds imperial territory? Interesting. That's not good. Oh, crap, but Burgundy has taken it. Well, I mean, I could conquer it for Burgundy. I mean, Burgundy is mine anyway. It'd be really nice if I could have taken it for myself, though, because then I would get a core on it, and it would give me a port. But, oh well. Um, we might end up taking some of Aragon. Or maybe we'll manage to get some of our boys for some of our vassals to take parts of Sicily and we can turn them into another vassal. That'd be nice. But regardless, so our boys are here up in Ruslan, besieging the city. Oh crap, I missed a marriage offer. Ooh, what are they offering for peace-wise? White peace? No. I don't know. I mean, you may have slightly outnumber us, but I've got a pretty well-trained army. Yeah, that wasn't the best of ideas, and the Palatinate just decided to get involved. How's the army in Verona doing? They're still not re- uh, They're still not- Um... I don't know why the word is escaping me right now. I'm going to blame this cold or whatever it is. Replenishing. There we go. That's an appropriate word. They're still not replenishing their numbers yet. Alright, we have finished that siege. Let's move down to Girona. Yeah, naval research as well. Uh, Brunswick hired an artist from us, good for them. Sicily is offering white peace, we are declining that right now. Ah, Burgundy has invaded Sicily. Who else are you at war with? What's going on with Venice over there? Venice is at war with Siena, Bohemia, and... Milan and Trier. Okay. I was like, what's this naval battle here? But it's like, no, that's something completely unrelated. It's always funny when an enemy comes into the war and immediately offers white peace. It's like, no, that's not good enough. Are you still at war with Bavaria? No, you're not. Good. Burgundy and Lorraine have invaded. Good, good, good. So at the end of this war, hopefully, the Palatinate will be a vassal. We beat them again despite their, their larger numbers, because our army is just that good. But no, we're not accepting white peace from you. What are you offering, Aragon? Also white peace, no. And Sicily has now invaded Sardinia. Well, those two can't make peace with each other anyway, so there we go. Um, what is the plot? No! And what is Aragon? Stop offering me pieces you know I'm not going to accept. 
Okay, I know the aim of the war was to protect Sardinia, but that's the excuse of the war for me. I really don't give two craps about whether Sardinia gets conquered by you or not. I'm here to either take your land or subjugate your, your allies. I'm getting really tired of you aimlessly of you just pointlessly throwing your troops at mine. I would like to replenish my army. But you just keep wasting both of our troops. Let's see, Savoy hired an artist from me. And I've now occupied Girona. Well, I'm going to stand there for a moment and uh, try to gain more troops. Sardinia accepted peace, they will annul treaties with me, and they'll pay seven ducat. See? They're free. You couldn't you didn't subjugate them. You didn't annex them. So the actual aim of the war has uh, has been achieved. Sardinia is free of Aragon. All they had to do was pay some money and cut their deals with me. Oh well. However, this war has already started, and I'm still in charge of it. So yeah, don't think peace is going to be anywhere near that easy with me. Um, the Palatinate. Let's see, I am occupying Worms. Let's wait for my boys to do more. Well, not my boys, but my allies to do more. Vasily, how are things going against them? Well, we occupy Malta. But the main island's not going as well. Oh, they're going to attack us again. And lose uh, again. We're going to follow them this time to Barcelona. Where we've defeated them. And we're going to follow them down to Valencia. And then we're going to follow them back up to Barcelona. And then to... Uh, Pirene Pirenio. And then we will follow them once more to... Where is it? Barcelona? If they wanted to keep attacking me, I will keep attacking them right now. Although, I really can't afford to keep losing too many more troops. Let's go ahead and hire some mercenaries, if we can. some hired men um, die for Austrian ambitions instead of continuing to just waste Austrian lives. All right, let's go ahead and support the Florentine School and commission a national epic and then some paintings or e-painting. Hire a couple more. Improvements in government technology. A, flu a few local workers in the administration have discovered what they claim is a more efficient way to handle documents. Obviously, they don't know what they are talking about, but it can't hurt to let them try their new ideas. Spare no expense or use caution. In this case, I think taking the inflation on is worth it. We'll spare no expense. And Bohemia has been re-elected as the Emperor. How many votes do I have right now? Just Savoy. Oh, let's offer them vassalization. They say maybe right now. They accepted. Great. We now own a vote. 
Did I call him Savoy a moment ago? I think I did. Saxony, sorry. Alright, so these three these three mercenary units will go lay siege to Pyrenee. These guys are continuing in Barcelona. What is Sicily offering? They'll see Malta. That's tempting, but very not tempting because I don't want to have an island that I can't get troops to. Oh! We completely occupy Sicily. Well, in that case, Sicily, how about you become a vassal of Austria? Now it's been a successful war. So Sicily is now a vassal of Austria. Let's give them an alliance. England, why do you have an army down there? Oh, because you're at war with France. And France is kicking your butts from the look of it. Okay. So they're hiding from that French army. Got it. Alright, we've taken Barcelona, let's march down to Valencia. Okay, let's pursue them to Barcelona. And we've crushed that army finally. Let's go lay siege to um, Valencia. Alright, we don't need these mercenaries anymore. We've taken most of the Palatinate. Is it enough? It is not. Lame. Alright. So let's go ahead and detach the mercenaries. And we'll have the KUK march homeward. Hey, Ansbach, can I move troops through you, please? Oh, I can? Thank you. Alright, we're going to send the KUK up to the one unoccupied part of the Palatinate. In the meantime, we'll leave our mercenaries here in Valencia. And then we'll disband our mercenaries, since they've taken Valencia. So once we've taken Frankia, I mean Franken, we'll make the Palatinate our vassal, in which case we will own two votes. And then we will figure out what we're going to do about Aragon. How's my relationship with Burgundy doing? It's another thing, when you've got a personal union like this, you've got to stay on top of your relationship. Right, and now we completely occupy the Palatinate. So now we will go ahead and subjugate them. And you can go home to Vienna now. Von Habsburg is shaken, there seems to have been a misunderstanding regarding the heritage of great-grandmother of Albert V. It seems she was the daughter of a lowly farmer from outside Vienna. I can deny it fervently, which I'd lose five legitimacy, or acknowledge the fact, in which case I'd lose five prestige. Well, we're going to gain back prestige when we make peace. So let's lose the prestige. We'll acknowledge it. Yep. A great-great-grandmother was a peasant or whatever. Big wolf. <clears throat> oh. Gelra is no uh, longer occupied by Burgundy. Well, in that case...
Um, hey, Brabant. You know how many times we've, like, swapped, uh... Royal marriages and such? You think maybe you could let my troops cross you? Thank you. Let's just hope that that, uh, Burgundian army isn't also moving there. They probably are, but... Oh, they don't seem to have access, or they didn't want to attack those. There we go. Perfect. Now it's in my hands. Uh, we need to make our an alliance with the Palatinate before we forget. And hey, Aragon, guess what? You're giving me Galra. You're also, since Sardinia's independence was the whole aim of the whole start of this war, you're going to give up your claims on Sardinia. Um, what else should I have you do? I'm tempted to take some other some of your other land. And since this is Imperial territory, we'll get a core on it, since we're taking it from a non-Imperial power. Which means I'll be able to start building a navy. So, yeah, let's go ahead and take the Boleris. Or, could I take Valencia? I could take Valencia. That'd be a nice exclave. I like the idea of it not being connected, like not giving me another border over here. But yeah, we're gonna take the Valerius from them. Yep, Imperial Reconquest. Gelera has been liberated from the clutches of Aragon and restored to the Holy Roman Empire. Our service to the Empire has been recognized. We gained a core on Gelera, as planned. Oh yeah, we've got our alliance with the Palatinate and Aragon accepted peace. A splendid little war, if I do not say so my if I don't say so myself. I mean, if I do say so myself. You go home. Actually, wait. No, Gelra can support you. You stay here in Gelra. Gelra, build me a cog. Um, how's the army in Verona doing? Still needs to replenish. Oh, but I can build things in my new provinces. Oh, I can't build an embassy there because it doesn't border anything. That's right. Uh, let's go ahead and build docks in the two places that we can build docks. Oh, the king is dead. We have a new king. Ferdinand I von Habsburg. Administration 4, Military 7, Diplomacy 9. Oh, nice. Ferdinand's great cunning and silver tongue shall aid us in forming strong alliances with our friends. Our nation is mourning over the loss of our previous monarch, Albert V von Habsburg. And our new heir is Ferdinand Wenzel. Okay. It's still von Habsburg, right? Yes, okay. And we maintained our personal union with Burgundy. Is this, or is our quest still to reclaim the Imperial Crown? Yes, it is. Well, I own two of the Electors now, so that's a start. I guess we should start re -imp um, improving our relations with the other Electors again. But most importantly right now, we need to reinforce the armies.
go ahead and commission a painting. Uh, how about a master of mint? And then commission four more paintings. And how about an inquisitor? I don't mind if some other country has better spy defense. And pretty much the only time I'm going to be using spies at this point is to try to bribe defenders in a siege. Have a cog. Great. Alright, let's go ahead and build a ship of the line as well. Karat. Let's take this cog down south. Um, let's put it in Port Parma. And then let's go ahead and detach a longbow unit from the army in Verona and send it to Parma as well. Yay! Our government is up to eight, which means we can start building courthouses are great because they uh, they lower our revolt risk. Alright, my cog has made it to Parma, so my longbows will get on the cog and be taken to my island. And this will go back to Parma where I will ferry more troops. And here goes another longbow. Merchants complain again. No pain, no gain. Have I really established that much trade in Venezia? Yes, I have. Good to know. Um, let's see if we can corner another market. Oh, it looks like we'd actually be able to send people to Alexandria now. Although it looks like we'd have a better chance in Antwerp. Let's start sending merchants to Antwerp then. Alright, go ahead and detach one of these Latin knights. Just because I want to have that small occupation force. So it doesn't take me forever to react in case of a revolt down there. Hopefully that'll be enough to deal with any revolts that might come up. Especially since it is my only non-core province. But there we go. Lord of Wurttemberg wants a royal marriage, so he gets one. How's the army doing up here in Gelura? They're almost reinforced which means it'll start focusing on the one down in Verona. Which I'll have to recruit new troops for once it's full to make up for the ones that I sent to the Boleris. Let's build that armory down there, and let's start building courthouses in wherever has the highest revolt risk, which is Tyrol and pretty much northern Italy with negative 15%. And that's right, we need to be improving our relations with electors. There we go, Brandenburg, have some cash. And I really need another person, another country, like, spoiling this right now. Let's give some money to Trier. And to Cologne. Venezia wants trade rights. No, we're, we're good, Venice. Oh, Hungary, you want a uh, royal marriage? Of course. We're still allies, right, Hungary? Yes, we are. 
Okay, Bohemia, we haven't been allies for a long time. Um, well, let's get a royal marriage going again. Good. I wonder if there's anyone else I can diplomatically annex nearby. Um, not Liguria. I mean, not Genoa, because I can't royally marry them. But we could try Ferrara. Let's work on that. We've got a royal marriage with Ferrara. Oh, Portugal wants an alliance? Why does Portugal want an alliance? Are they at war with anyone? No, but they're also allied with England and Scotland. Um, who do they feel threatened by? Castile, Morocco, and Austria. I guess they'll feel less threatened by me if we're allies. Well, Holland wants a marriage, so they get one. Sure, Portugal. I have no reason not to accept that right now. I get it. You want a little extra security in case Castile tries to take your land, right? Let's get a royal marriage going with Portugal as well. Okay, Savoy has vassalized um, Provence. Interesting. Royal message, royal marriage with Baden. And build up infrastructure in one of our newer provinces, as well as our courthouse project. And we can move the slider again. Let's go. Let's work on free subjects again. We're losing control. We've lost the stability. Great. Oh well, not that big of a deal at the moment. Sundgau gets a courthouse. How's my relationship with Burgundy? Still pretty good. Oh, nice. I've got Triers backing right now. So let's send them another gift, just to help solidify that a bit. Let's improve our relationship with Brandenburg again. And let's continue courting Cologne. Oh, and we were going to try to subjugate um, Ferrera diplomatically. That would secure my southern border. That would very nicely secure my southern border. Now let's offer them an alliance, to which they say yes. And keep sending them gifts. I kind of wish this was like Crusader Kings, where I could uh, assassinate the current Holy Roman Emperor so that I could get it while I still have the support, so I don't have to wait around and uh, carefully maintain those relationships while trying not to do things to piss everyone off. Alright, let's send another gift to Ferreira, and let's offer vassalization, which they say is likely. Great. Gift to the state. Good governance would sometimes prompt the nobility and the businessmen of the realm to donate cash to the treasury, out of pure patriotism or in exchange for the sale or transfer of honorary titles and positions. Let's see, I can put that in the treasury or I can gain prestige from it. Mm, treasury is fine, our prestige is pretty good. And Ferrara rejected, but that's okay, that was only the first time. They just want a little more money, I get that. And there we go, Ferrera is now our vassal. So as you can see here, our southern flank here is, uh, has got these three little Italian states, which also means that I've got a buffer between me and the, and the rest of Italy. You either have to sail up to our territory or march through one of our vassals. 
who will hopefully slow any invaders down. Not that I'm really concerned about invaders from the south, but you never know. On Spock would like a wrong marriage, so they get one. I wonder, could I get Milan to be my vassal? It'd be a fun project, let's try. Since I really do kind of want to just keep following the national quests or whatever they're called. I'm not really going to try anything overt right now. I mean, unless I end up with claims on something. Well, how are the disputed successions right now? There's a disputed, a disputed su succession of Portugal. Oh, they've got a regency. Imodena, Naples, Brabant. How are things in Brabant right now? Oh, on death of the monarch, I succeed. Well, a Habsburg succeeds. Why don't we just go ahead and claim the throne and see if anything happens? I know that's going to hurt my legitimacy a bit, but that's okay. I currently get what? Like 8.9 a year, we can afford to lose a little bit of legitimacy. And we now are claiming the throne of Brabant. I'm not going to press that claim in a war, because it's just not quite worth that to me right now, but uh, hey, should I become the king of Brabant, I become the king of Brabant. Oh, and we lost our claim already. Oh well. Uh, It was a gamble. Ah, they had a child. Too bad. I lost out on that one. Alright, Luxembourg, yes, you can have a marriage. Akia, yes, you can have a marriage. And you get a marriage. And Brandenburg gets a marriage. <clears throat> oh, my relationship with Saxony went down quite a bit. Here, have some money, Saxony. Um, let's continue wooing Cologne and, um, and uh, Milan. We well, finally got a positive relationship with Milan. It's unlikely they'd accept a royal marriage, but maybe on an alliance. So let's offer an alliance, and they accept it. <clears throat> That's pretty cool. Alright, let's go back to our electors. Here, Trier, have some more money. Here's... oh, I'm out of diplomats. <laughs> Build a marketplace in the Balearis, and build a church in Gelra, and a courthouse in Stiermark and Linz. I've only got a 50. Oh, that's right, because I claimed that throne. That hurt a lot of my relationships with my subjects. Oh, Brunswick, you get a marriage. Continue improving our relationship with Milan. And England wants a marriage. That works for me. Will you take a marriage now, Milan? No, not yet. Oh, relations improved. We have found common grounds with one of our neighbors in the fact that we share the same faith. Our relations have improved and this can only be good for the future. So, uh, for Catholic, relation between Friesland and Austria have changed. Oh, that's right, they're my neighbor because I have Gelra. <laughs> I forgot about that. I finally have some Austrian Netherlands. Alright, so let's go with a courthouse in the capital and in Graz.
and then one in Ustmarch. <clears throat> Oh, there's a rebellion down there, which was immediately put down by the garrison I left. Good. Oh good, I've started to build up some manpower reserves. So let's go ahead and get this army back up to its normal size. How big of an army can the Blairies support? A pretty good sized one. So let's have Cremona go ahead and recruit another unit to send there. Okay, what is my what is my uh, support limit on navy? One. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I'm over that by one. Let's have my Carrick go accompany my cog. All right. You got you go uh, back to Verona. You go down to the Ligurian Sea. You go to Verona as well. And have my tiny navy take that troop to the Balearis while he will join the garrison. Let's build a church down there, and then build a couple more courthouses. Or another courthouse. in Verona. Let's make a royal marriage with Sicily. Offer another royal marriage to Milan. They reject it again. Okay. How are things with the electors? I've got five voting for me right now. Why does my relationship uh, so low with Saxony still? And the Palatinate... Actually, Palatinate, will you accept a marriage? They will. Good. Franz Tegethoff. One of our advisors, Franz Tegethoff, has republished the crowning achievement of his literary career, The Spirit of Laws. This monumental work has been celebrated for three of its numerous theories, the classification of governments, the influences on policies, and the most important one, the theory of the separation of powers. His, uh, his uh, efforts will be admired throughout the nation, which would give me to stability and plus 15 um, government tech investment for, what is that, six years? Or the same investment and 10 prestige. His reputation will reach further than our borders. Well, our stability is maxed, so his reputation will reach further than our borders. I should give this army a name. Um... We're going to call it the Lombard Legion, since they're up here in Lombardia, a bunch of the recruits are probably Lombards. Oh, it didn't, there we go, and there we go. So I've got the KUK army, army up there, and I've got the Lombard Legion down there. Eventually I'm going to start um, training another army and return the KUK back to the capital. Hey, what's this province decision we can make? I could promote cultural unity in Steermark, in which Styria would lose its core there. No, I'm okay right now. That's not necessary. Right, let's check on our electors. And more money to Saxony. Let's check on Lombardy, on... Uh, Milan, let's send them some cash. Latinate, you get more money. 
economy is actually doing really well, I can probably back off on how much we're minting. That should be good. And that will let us uh, boost that into our government research. Alright, Milan. Still unlikely for a marriage? Okay. Have more money then. And here we go for... Who are we going to send money to next? Cologne. Alright, can the Emperor please die? England would like a marriage. They get one. Let's see. It's King Bozsek the first von Luxembourg who was inaugurated in 34 so he's been on the throne for about nine years nine and a half years well hopefully he dies soon I guess we'll commission a tapestry and a painting Buy and let's get another Master of Mint, and then do a couple more paintings. Lord of saxe lauenburg wishes to enter a royal marriage with one of my Sovereign Lord's dependents. Okay, cool beans. I'm down. Naval technology has increased, and we have another idea because our government has increased. So, let's go ahead, and which one do we want? Especially for one where I'm trying to have a nice um, army and expand like this. National Conscripts is nice. I uh, can't do Bill of Rights yet. But that's okay. Vetting is always good. But no, we're going to go with National Conscripts. It definitely helps with resupplying our armies. And we'll build our courthouse and that's it uh, once that's built then everywhere in our country in our personal domain we'll have what all the buildings that they can currently have monetary reforms our treasurers are arguing that we need to enact some reforms in our economic policies a new master of mint will also be needed to take care of the economy Let's see, I could enact them and I'll lose due to two stability and gain a level four master of mint. Or I could take on three inflation. What's our inflation rate? Inflation is changed by 0.22 each year. Yeah, we'll just take on the inflation. It'll take a few years, but we'll lose it. I think we can change um, our tech investment around a bit. Let's go ahead and focus on land so that we can get up to eight next, so that we can uh, start building, what are they called, uh, training fields. I we'll have a good chance of Diplo annexing Sicily. Really? Oh, lame. Malta declared independence from Sicily. That sucks. Do I want to diplomax Sicily? It gives me more port. It gives me more ports. Hmm. Or why not? Let's do it. Yeah, I do. And we did. It's hard to rule. While a smaller country, when a smaller country gives up its independence to join a greater realm, there is a lot of adapting. And while some parts are easy, the administration of the realm will still need to expand to accommodate all possibilities. We lose one stability. It's hard to rule from Veen. But that's okay. We have more land. We have another island in the Mediterranean. One that has land access to Naples. Hey, Naples. Um, can I move troops through you, please? 
Um, hey, Urbino. Can I move troops through you, please? They both said yes. Hey, Pope. Can I move troops through you, please? Well, thank you, Pope. All right. We're going to go ahead and move the Lombard Legion down to Palermo. Oh, Portugal is calling for aid. Oh no, and there's a hunting accident. Let's see, sorrow overtakes me, or oh well. Well, I don't want the stability hit, and I can afford the one, um, infamy. So, oh well. Our air died. Did we have another air, air lined up? No, we did not. Portugal, what's going on? Requesting their aid in conflict against England and Liege. This is a defensive war where we need to help our ally. England is allied with Aragon and Liege. Okay, yeah, fine, accept. We are in control. Cool beans. So, uh, England, what's this war all about? It's the subjugation of Scotland, so we're protecting Scotland. Portugal wanted our help protecting Scotland. Interesting. Wait, Castile's involved in this too? Wow. England has a lot of enemies in this one. Unfortunately, there's no way I can land troops in England. I, however, can easily invade Liege. Burgundy, Lorraine, the Palatinate, Saxony, Aquilia, Ferrara, Mantua, and Parma have all come to my aid, as they should. How are things with them? Let's improve our relationship with Burgundy while we're thinking of it. I still have five votes. Alright, Ken. What keeps hurting my relationship with Saxony? I don't understand. If anything, that should be like one of my... Um... Like, that and the Palatinate should be my most easily managed, uh, vassals. Since they're of similar cultures. Let's keep working on our relationship with Milan. Liege is in my hands. Let's go to Mamor. Oh, they're offering peace. They're offering money. That's not gonna happen. Yeah, this is gonna end with you being my vassal. Although I could just annex all your land, but that would not be a good idea. So yeah, I demand that you become my vassal and my troops will send will march over to Calais. Oh, England is offering peace now. They're offering white peace. Fine, we'll accept that, England. You didn't manage to subjugate Scotland, did you? No, you did not. Accept. There we go. We protected Scotland, and we subjugated Liege. And I have a new heir. Okay, good. It's a von Habsburg. And let's offer an alliance to our new vassal, who for some reason is at war with France. Oh, hopefully it'll make peace soon. Oh, France and Bohemia. Interesting. Ah, and now I can- oh, that's right, I can build things in Sicily. So let's build an embassy in Messina, since I can finally build one. And let's build a dock in Palermo.
That was another splendid little war. Now let's support the Florentine School and Commissioner National Epic. Army is the way to glory. Our focus on land has left many feeling that we have an excellent army. Some of our brightest and best wish to become officers in it. They have chosen wisely. I get five prestige. Nice. Because um, Austria is the army with a state, not Prussia right now. Oh, boundary dispute. The lack of good maps or tools to create accurate maps would occasionally lead to overlapping claims of authority in border regions. These disputes were usually over very marginal areas, but could serve as a point of friction when monarchs decided to press the issue. So I could gain a core on Sopron in Hungary, or I could settle the issue which would have me lose a prestige. Oh, and pressing the issue will hurt my relationship with Hungary. Or am I still allied with Hungary? I am. But it's late enough in the game that they're not really a threat and here like they are at the very start. So I'm gonna press that issue. I mean, I'm not gonna to go to war with it over anytime soon. I mean, I have 50 years before I lose that core. So. Maybe that'll be more incentive for them to maintain the alliance. And let's go ahead and build a church in Palermo. We lost a general, it's not that big of a deal. Let's continue maintaining our relationship with Burgundy. Let's continue that project with Milan. Maybe they'll finally accept a royal marriage now. Nope. Alright. Even though we have we had a 190 with them, come on, marry one of our kids. There we go. All right, now become our vassal. Good job. You saw sense. But Jen was a merchant republic, so I can't diplomatically make them my. I can't diplomatically subjugate them. Oh. Do I have any other neighbors that I could diplomatically subjugate? Since it's always easier on neighbors. Let's see, Friesland maybe? Not Munster. Oh, I'll start working on Friesland. Hey, let's have a marriage. Oh good, they're amiable to that. Alright, I still have five votes. I really wish I could assassinate the Emperor. And now we can start building training fields. Once again, I want to increase the manpower in the places with the lowest amounts. First. There we go. Training fields being built across the land. Although, let's get the churches and courthouses built in our newest acquisitions. Alright, our manpower reserves have gotten pretty good. Let's start training up a third army. I didn't mean to start with knights. Oh well, I guess we're starting with the knights.
right. So once that pops up, I'll commission the other... Um, what will it be? Seven longbows that I want? Alright, we'll send them all to the capital. Alright, our mercantilist policy is strength and trade. Hungary and Salzburg lose merchants in Venetia. Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and recruit the rest of this army. Five, four, three, Is built and then get some training fields. So currently we gain 736 uh, reserves a month. Good. Dutch something or other. There we go. The Dutch regiment. And it will switch places with the KUK, which can return to its rightful place at the capital. Let's build some more training fields. How are things going with the election? I still have those five votes. I should really work on improving maintenance's opinion of me as well. Alright, now hopefully next episode we can uh, have the uh, Emperor die without us having done something to get people to stop supporting our bid for the throne. So this has been um, Europa Universalis 3. Um, and I, of course, am some guy you've never heard of. Take care and have a wonderful day.